guys what is up and thanks for stopping by my channel crystal michelle i know it has been a while since i've uploaded a video guys when i tell you i've tried to record this video for the past two weeks like i don't know what is going on with my camera and my equipment but it's just been uh, a nightmare but i think this one is finally gonna be able to make it to you guys so today i'm going to be reviewing this hair that i've been wearing for almost like now over a month and this is the Face Beauty Malaysian Tight Curly Texture. Um, this is an AliExpress vendor, which means affordable. And don't worry, I'll leave all the information about this hair. If I forget to cover it, down below in the description box. And I'll make sure to somewhere in this video put the price points. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So... What I have on my head is a lace frontal closure that goes from ear to ear, and then I have three bundles of the Malaysian Tight Curly. I believe they're all 18 inches, including the closure. Um, usually I get like um, stag staggering numbers, making sure I'm saying this right. So I'll get like a 14, 16, 18, but I decided to get all 18 because sometimes with like tight curly or curly textures, um, sometimes the 14 is like super short, the 18 is like a little bit longer because it's stretched out and it doesn't blend. So I actually like this a lot better. And if you guys feel like this hair is just too flat or something like that, you can always cut some layers in it. But I did not cut the hair at all. I just installed it. Let's talk about the pros about this hair. The pros, of course, is the price point. It's a four affordable. Um, I like the luster on this hair. I actually really do love this pattern. I like the loose, um, well it says it's tight curly, when I think tight curl I think kinky curly, but it's not like always like a loose, like a body wave. So it is like a pretty curl and I like this kind of curl. Um, I think it goes nice with my features. And um, I think it's a little bit more manageable than, let's say, kinky curly hair. Um, when I got the bundles, they were full. I'll include some pictures for you guys. When I washed the hair, there was no funky corn chip smell. It was easy to install. I pretty much got almost all of the hair on the wig cap. I actually really like this lace closure. I did bleach the knots. So if you guys are wondering how it does with bleach, it does pretty well. It didn't turn like any weird brassy color. Um, it didn't bleed through the lace and mess up the hair. As you guys can see, it's dark at the roots. Um, it did have a little bit of baby hairs, which I think looks really, really nice and natural. And how I put my wig on every day when I was rocking it consistently was I used the Got To Be glue. And this is something I've seen a lot of YouTubers using. And I would just put it on and blow dry it and it would stay down. Um, I did this when I went to Michigan to visit my girlfriends and I never took the wig off because it was just that glue down to my head. However, you want to be careful if you want to protect your edges. I definitely recommend shampooing the glue off or using an oil. And also um, make sure to still put your castor oil or whatever growth spray you have, you know, moisturizing spritz on your edges. Otherwise, this will break it off if you just try to rip it off. This glue gel whatever thing is like super 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 strong so just be careful with that how i maintain this hair is i use any cheapo conditioner the nourishing spa conditioner um probably right now this is good for a do like co-washing um like a light shampoo because you know conditioner water spritz will like build up on it and then I would just take my paddle brush and comb through it and just define my curls. Um, the cons about this hair is that I did experience some tangling up at the nape. Um, if you go a couple of days without like, you know, raking some conditioner in, the hair will kind of mat up a little bit. So you definitely want to make sure this isn't a wig that you're sleeping in or that you're just throwing around. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you take care of this hair. I definitely would say this hair was high maintenance. Um... But once you apply the conditioner and you run your paddle brush through, you should be good to go. I didn't experience shedding as far as like seeing like curly hair all over my floors or anything like that. But I did notice that when I did detangle the hair, I lost a lot, a lot of hair. And that was um, something I'm not very used to. So that's definitely something you need to keep in mind. And I don't think I was roughly handling the hair. And I can't really tell you if it was coming from the closure or if it was coming from the west. And I remember um, doing the flip over method so it wasn't even like I um, had cut the weft or anything like that so those are definitely just a few of the concerns I had about this hair but um Overall, I think I had like an enjoyable experience. I got a lot of compliments. I think this so far is my favorite full lace frontal closure wig. I always mess up 
close frontal lace frontal there we go yeah because um, it's really really snug and tight and lays really flat and natural and so um, I definitely am playing around with the method that I install it so thumbs up if you guys are curious about seeing that oh so before I get this hair does have a little bit of a coarser texture it has a lot of volume as you guys can tell it's still pretty like soft to touch but it's not gonna be like that silky straight texture which may be nice for a lot of women with the um, who are trying to pretty much mimic more of an african-american texture you're definitely gonna have a little more texture to it than that silky straight kind of feel which I can appreciate and um, let me guys know what you think down below in the description box about this hair I'll leave all the specs I'll leave all the information how much it costs everything you need to know and the links and if you can't find it there then of course leave a comment down below once again guys I am so sorry I haven't gotten a video out in a while but don't worry they will be coming back to back to back and like I said before this is the AliExpress vendor face beauty and I think this may be like the third um, tight curly here that I've tried out and I just really like how this texture um, fits me I think it looks really nice so guys as always happy healthy hair journey and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye